Angela Cherby, Fred from Radio from the Torino Film Festival, and I'm really happy to have here Mr. Christmas, <laughs> <laughs> the director, Bharat Naduri, director of The Man Who Invented Christmas. It's nice to be here. That is like finally we have a Christmas movie about Christmas ready for Christmas. Yeah, so I know, like it's the rare. Perfect, the perfect combination. Yeah. Listen, Bharat, you, uh, how, how did you get involved with this film, first of all? Um, well, I've been looking to do a, uh, a take on Christmas Carol for a while. I, it's, uh, I love the book, mm -hmm. and I've, I've been struggling to find a new way of telling that story because it's been done so beautifully. Yeah. Yeah. You know, It's a Wonderful Life exactly. is, is a Christmas Carol, but backwards. It's a good man who's told how bad the world would be without, without him, which is the opposite of Scrooge. Yeah. So, and so with great filmmakers like Capra, Having done this before, <laughs> we were, I, I've yeah. been struggling to find an yeah, interesting it was quite way. Of a task. It's a very complicated. So, so, but this script arrived, and it's a beautiful script, and it's a very different way in. And I'm a big Dickens fan as mm -hmm. well. So, somehow it combined the two, and it allowed me to tell this story and also visit a part of Dickens' life that no one had seen mm. before. Yeah, exactly. This is, which is the most interesting mm. part of his film, mm. I think, mm. the fact of find out how did he did he wrote this yeah. how did he get to this yeah, story yeah. in in the first place and actually your movie has this parallel uh, story of the real actual london of the in dickens times yeah. and the fantastic world in dickens mind yes, which exactly. and you managed to have these two words inter intertwined in a way that it's really really easy yeah for us to watch which was not easy to do probably <laughs> <laughs> Everyone keeps asking me this. It's really complicated, and I didn't really think about it. I think we um, it uh, it felt very na felt very natural to mm -hmm. me. Uh, what was important was to be in Dickens's mind, and as mm -hmm. soon as we knew that, that's why the film isn't full of visual effects exactly and exactly. CGI because I, I realized very early on that uh, Dickens had never seen a CGI movie. Yeah. He'd never seen uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, <laughs> so he he he. He, his idea of what a ghost was or would have been very theatrical or would have been the magic lantern show that he mm -hmm. would have seen at the time. So we took that style and put it into the film. And I think that's what makes it very cohesive. Uh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so. And uh, how did you work about casting? Oh, yeah. Uh, because the casting well, here is pretty pretty good. I mean. uh, thank you. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'd have to agree. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I'd love to take all credit, but it's like the cast is, is remarkable for this. But, you know... I always find it's easier to cast when you have a great story and a great script. The hard, the worse the script is, or when it's not quite ready to film, mm -hmm. much harder to cast. Yeah. So this was. But why that? Because because actors, because actors have a innate sense of what's good and bad, and whether it feels real mm -hmm. or whether they can do it, and they have a gut, and they'll say yes or no. Mm -hmm. And really, the interesting thing in my business is that in the end, actors just want to do good stuff. Yeah. directors just want to do good stuff so in the end it's not about the money it's not about the scale of it all it's they just want to they want good words yeah. to say so this was one of the easiest things i've ever cast it was literally send them the script let them read it phone them up and the answer was yes okay. literally every single yeah. person there was no there was no yeah because you have a bunch of famous names mm -hmm. and a bunch of very good famous faces yeah. that we know them we don't know yeah. who they are actually yeah. precisely yeah. why we know them yeah, yeah, yeah. and the, the mixture of this group of yeah. people yeah. creates a perfect uh, yeah. uh, no it's moments. interesting also Dickens is brilliant at painting pictures so you wouldn't know it but I suspect if you've read any Dickens, if you've read Christmas mm. Carol, it sits in the back of your head. Oh, so yeah, you, yeah. So you, you, you have ownership of those characters. So it was very important that they landed and you believed that he was your Scrooge, <laughs> that she was your Mrs. Fezziwig. That, because Dickens describes them so beautifully. That Listen, the script is very fun, mm. very entertaining, mm -hmm. but also very filled with issues that are pretty mm -hmm. modern and mm -hmm. pretty contemporary. Mm -hmm. So it's not... Uh, it could not be a light film no. at all mm. because he has issues that are, that are very, uh, t to our days, important. Mm. Uh, this was a, uh, a way for you to choose it. I mean, did you... Did you well, yeah, I think that's Dickens' genius is mm -hmm. that he gives you a really fun book mm -hmm. in Christmas Carols full of pathos and humor, it makes you laugh, makes you cry. But underneath it, there's a... There's some subtext. And with all of Dickens' work, he wanted to change the world. I'm not saying that our movie is going to mm -hmm. change the world, but I think 
think Dickens wanted people to be better, mm-hmm. you, you know, and was just, he held up a mirror to people. And that was, you know, in a way, I wanted to do that justice in our mm-hmm. film. So I think if you watch the film and you enjoy it and you're laughing and you cry, that's great. If you see something else at the end of it, that's, that's great too. But, you know, I'm not going to preach to you and say become a better human being. <laughs> but I think Dickens changed the world. And I think it's very important to reflect that in here. Mm-hmm. And it is a very modern take on it. There are many issues. There's family issues. Should he spend time working or should he spend with yeah. his family? You know, uh, and then it happened the poor uh, and the less fortunate. Church, and, yeah. and, uh, and it's, it's sad that we are still talking about it. Mm. You we, know, yeah, and we, this is 1843. Really right. He's right. Mm-hmm. And then he goes on to write probably one of the most famous sentences, which is, it's the best of times, the worst of times. Yeah. And we're still in the best of times, the, the worst of times. Absolutely. Sadly, we're still talking about this you know, the rich and the poor and the big walls in between. And uh, it's, it's a shame we have to re- keep reflecting on it, but, you know. Um, Maybe if we keep on reflecting at some I, point, I, you, you, can't you, stop. N- you never know. You can't stop. I mean, you, you know, I look at one of my favorite Italian films, The Bicycle Thieves, mm. and, you know, that's, it's a beautiful film, but there's, you know, that, that is so Dickensian in its context, oh, yeah. what he's oh, saying absolutely. at the end of it. You know, it's exactly the same. It's a beautiful film about being human and about the struggle of, of living. So, you know, the story keeps getting revisited. <laughs> yeah. you know. And how long was the shooting? How long was the building of this project? Was uh, it a big it's, deal? It's, uh, well, uh, the producers have been working on it for nine years. Oh, God. And I came on it about four years out, mm-hmm. uh, but really came on it w- in, within the last two years. But... Uh, The funny thing is we uh, filmed it, um, Dickens wrote Christmas Carol in six weeks Mm -hmm. prior to Christmas of 1843. And we filmed this in six weeks prior to the Christmas of 2016. (laughs) So life imitating art or art (laughs) or whatever, whatever, one of those things. Okay, so thank you very much. Thanks a lot to to Baran Naluri, the director of The Man Who Invented Christmas, which is a I think is going to become a new Christmas classic. Uh, are, you, are, you, are you ready for that? I'll take that. I, 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 I'm happy to watch it every Christmas. <laughs> well, me too, actually. Thank you very much. All It's right. Angela Cherby for Fred Film Radio, the Festival Insider.